Hey everybody, and welcome to another lecture from CyberMD. Today's lecture will cover sick sinus syndrome as a part of the common EKG lecture series. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to all of our content so that we can continue to produce free medical education resources for students across the globe. Let's dive in. Sick sinus syndrome is a cardiac arrhythmia that affects the normal functioning of the heart's sinus node, which is responsible for controlling the heart rate. When the sinus node fails to function properly, it can lead to irregular heartbeats or pauses in the heartbeat. There are several risk factors that can contribute to the development of sick sinus syndrome. The most common cause is aging and degeneration of the sinus node. Other contributing factors may include disease conditions such as myocardial infarction and heart disease. Certain medications and electrolyte abnormalities can also have an adverse effect on the sinus node and contribute to the development of sick sinus syndrome. The arrhythmia is most commonly seen in individuals over the age of 60, but it can occur at any age. It is estimated that 1-2% to of the population will develop sick sinus syndrome in their lifetime. The diagnostic evaluation of sick sinus syndrome typically includes a complete medical history, physical exam, and an EKG. An EKG can help detect the underlying rhythm disturbances associated with sick sinus syndrome. In some cases, a Holter monitor or an event monitor may be used to monitor heart rhythm over an extended period of time. Electrolyte abnormalities, metabolic issues, sleep apnea, and medication effects must also be ruled out. In addition, other tests, such as an echocardiogram or stress test, may be ordered to assess heart function and evaluate for other underlying cardiac problems. On an EKG, sick sinus syndrome may be characterized by irregular heart rhythms, such as bradycardia, tachycardia, or pauses in the heartbeat. The EKG may also show other signs of heart disease, such as an enlarged heart, changes in the electrical conduction system, or evidence of past heart attacks. Most commonly, it will present as an inappropriate sinus bradycardia with an SA block or prolonged periods of asystole. The treatment for sick sinus syndrome depends on the severity of the symptoms and the underlying cause of the disorder. In some cases, lifestyle changes such as the avoidance of stimulants may be recommended. In more severe cases, a pacemaker may be needed to regulate heart rhythm. In order to differentiate sick sinus syndrome from other conditions that may cause similar symptoms, such as atrial fibrillation or heart block, it is important 
to perform a thorough evaluation including the EKG and other tests as necessary. The prognosis for sick sinus syndrome varies depending on the underlying cause and the severity of the symptoms. With proper treatment and management, most patients are able to maintain a good quality of life. However, without treatment, sick sinus syndrome can lead to serious complications. Complications of sick sinus syndrome can include heart failure, stroke, or sudden death. Additionally, patients with sick sinus syndrome are at an increased risk for developing other arrhythmias such as atrial fibrillation, which can further increase the risk of stroke. In conclusion, sick sinus syndrome is a serious condition that affects the normal functioning of the heart's sinus node. Early diagnosis and treatment can improve the prognosis and reduce the risk of complications. Thanks for tuning in.